As you heard me say a thousand times, Brexit did not happen immediately after the Brexit referendum in 2016. There were exhausting negotiations between the UK and the EU, first about the exit of the UK and then about the future relationship between the EU and the UK. After the official Brexit on January 31st in 2020, where the UK officially left the EU and with it the Parliament, there was a transitional period until December 31st in 2020 to implement the new relationship. There are indeed some, some longer transitional periods for some areas, you know, euro clearing and stuff like that, but this was the main one. And people are talking a lot about the level of preparation for Brexit on different sides, well, or the lack of on, on at least one side. So in a few of these videos, as you might have seen already, I give you an overview about the extent of preparations by different countries involved and of course the UK and the EU. And today I will tell you about the preparations in Poland. Before the end of the transition period on December 31st in 2020, Poland, like other EU member states, made various preparations for Brexit. And these preparations aim to minimize the potential negative impacts of the UK's withdrawal from the European Union and ensure a smooth transition for individuals, businesses, but also for government agencies. Polish authorities implemented several legal and regulatory measures to address the consequences of Brexit. And this included amending existing laws and adopting new regulations to ensure the continuity of trade, transportation and other essential areas affected by Brexit. Poland, being a significant trading partner of the United Kingdom within the EU, took steps to safeguard its economic ties with the UK. And this involved establishing bilateral agreements and negotiating the trade deal in the, with the EU to maintain a federal trade condition and prevent disruptions in the flow of goods and services. The Polish government prioritized protecting the rights of Polish citizens living in the UK and UK citizens residing in Poland. They sought to secure their legal status, ensuring that their rights regarding residency, employment, healthcare and social benefits were preserved. I also had Polish neighbors in, in, in London that time. Information campaigns were launched to provide guidance to affected individuals on the steps they needed to take to secure their status. And with the UK leaving the EU single market in the customs union, Poland worked on enhanced border checks and customs procedures. And this included hiring and training additional customs officers, implementing new systems and technologies, and improving infrastructure at border crossings to manage the increased volume of checks and paperwork. And Poland, of course, actively engaged with other EU member states and institutions to coordinate efforts and share information regarding Brexit preparations. And this cooperation aimed to ensure a unified approach to the challenges posed by the UK's withdrawal and to maintain cohesion within the EU. But also the Polish government launched information campaigns to raise public awareness about the potential impacts of Brexit, but also the necessary steps individuals and businesses needed to take. And this included providing guidance on customs procedures, legal requirements and available support mechanisms to mitigate any negative consequences. And Poland focused on addressing the specific needs of key sectors affected by Brexit. Industries such as manufacturing, agriculture, fisheries and financial services were given special attention. Polish authorities worked closely with industry representative and trade associations to identify potential challenges and develop sector specific strategies to mitigate the impact of Brexit. The Polish government engaged in extensive contingency planning to prepare for various scenarios that could arise post-Brexit. And this involved assessing the potential risks and challenges across different areas, including trade, transport, financial services and customs. And contingency plans were designed to ensure that Poland could respond swiftly and effectively to any disruptions or challenges arising from the UK's withdrawal. 
and Poland placed emphasis on strengthening its bilateral relations with the UK outside the EU framework. And this involved diplomatic efforts to maintain close ties and cooperation on various issues of mutual interest, including security, defense and cultural exchange. High-level meetings and negotiations were conducted to explore new opportunities for collaboration and address any potential frictions arising from Brexit. And Poland, also being a significant financial hub in Central and Eastern Europe, took measures to minimize potential disruption in the financial sector due to Brexit. Authorities implemented measures to ensure the continuity of financial services, such as facilitating the transfer of financial contracts from UK-based institutions to entities within the EU. Polish regulatory bodies also enhanced their capacity to oversee financial activities and maintain financial stability. And the Polish government provided support and guidance to businesses, particularly those engaged in trade with the UK. This included information campaigns, workshops and seminars to educate businesses about the potential impacts of Brexit, but also changes in customs procedures and available support mechanisms. Support programs were also established to assist businesses in adapting to the new trading environment and exploring alternative markets. And Poland actively participated in discussions and negotiations within the EU institutions to shape the overall approach to Brexit. And this included participating in meetings of the European Council, the Council of the European Union and other relevant bodies to influence policy decisions and ensure that Polish interests were represented. And these efforts reflected Poland's commitment to minimizing the potential negative consequences of Brexit and adapting to the new post-Brexit reality. However, it's worth noting that the full impact of Brexit on Poland and the other EU member states is still an ongoing process and uh, adjustments and adaptations will continue to be made while the situation evolves and more transitional periods run out. But before the end of the main transition period on December 31st in 2020, Brexit preparations were considered highly important for all affected countries, both within the European Union and the United Kingdom. But how much preparation was done was quite differently. And uh, as I said, that's another reason why I'm making these videos and just uh, put them in from time to time. I didn't want to make all the, the um, 28, 29 videos in, in one go that could be a little bit boring but i will always put them in again until we have all 29 and if you're interested in another of those videos or something about brexit or other uk politics the next video is right here in the end screen i'll see you there i'll be back